Hey guys, this is Elizabeth, the face behind BarkinBiscuits.com as well as Dog Mom to Rocket the Dachshund. telling you how to protect your dog's paws from the summer heat and keep them safe. We live in Utah where we have extreme seasonal changes. We literally go from 100 degrees in the summer to 100 inches of snow in the winter. When it gets really hot outside, your dog's paws can burn. Things like asphalt, concrete, and even sand can get 40 to 50 degrees hotter than the outside temperature. Just to give you guys an example, when it's 87 degrees outside, the asphalt can get to a temperature of 143 degrees. Just imagine what would happen if it's 100 degrees outside or hotter. So one thing you can do to check if the pavement is safe for your dog is to take your hand and place it on the pavement or asphalt and hold it there for 10 seconds. If you can do this without flinching, it's probably safe for your dog. Here are some things you can do to protect your dog. Number one. This one may seem obvious, but it's worth saying. Don't walk your dog in the middle of the day. Walk your dog either in the morning or in the late evening when the pavement is cool. Number two, stay on grassy surfaces. If you do walk your dog outside when it's really hot, try to do so on the grass, which is significantly cooler than the pavement. We have a beautiful park a couple of streets down from our house. So in the summer, when it's really hot, instead of walking on the pavement, we'll drive. Number three, toughen your dog's paws. Walk your dog frequently outside when it's cool to toughen the pads of your dog's paws. This will thicken their skin and create a callus so they're less prone to injuries like burns and cuts. As an added bonus, you won't have to trim their nails as much because the pavement will actually file them. Number four, protect your dog's paws before you go outside. There are a couple of things that you can put on your dog's paws to give them an extra layer of protection. They do make booties for your dog, but I don't recommend those because dogs breathe through their feet and they cool themselves through in between the pads of their paws. Putting booties or shoes on them actually prevents them from being able to fully cool themselves in the heat of the summer. Also, I don't know about your dog, but Rocket has no idea how to walk in those things. The best products I have personally found to protect and heal your dog's paws are by a company called Natural Dog Company. I love them because all of their products are only organic, vegan, and all natural ingredients. The two that I use on Rocket to protect his paws are Paw Tector and Paw Soother. I'll be sure to put a link below so you guys can check those out. The first thing you want to do is put on the paw protector. This basically provides a barrier between the pavement and your dog's paws. Like I mentioned earlier, we live in Utah. We have an endless amount of hiking trails. I love hiking with Rocket. It's one of my favorite things to do with him. We usually try and go at least once a week. I always put paw protector on his paws before we hike. A lot of the trails we hike on are rocky and sandy. The sand gets really hot and the rocks can be pretty sharp. It works really well to help protect against the heat and cuts and does a really good job at moisturizing so his paws don't get too dry and crack. Paw protector is also awesome in the winter. If you guys get a lot of snow and ice like we do, this product is a lifesaver. People put tons of salt on the ground to melt the snow and ice, but that does burn dog's paws. If I don't put this product on Rocket's paws, he will instantly begin limping from the salt. So Paw Tector works really well in the summer and it's awesome in the winter. When we get home from either our hike or our walk, I'll use Paw Soother. Paw Soother provides relief for your dog. It's like chapstick for our lips when our lips are really dry. It deeply moisturizes and heals any small cuts or burns that your dog may have. A lot of times when we go camping, Rocket will get little burrs or thorns in his paws 
and this works really well to heal that. Both of these products are safe to eat, so don't worry about your dog licking their paws after. I'm not gonna lie, I have actually used this product on myself before. Like when I have dry skin, or I even use these on my cuticles. It works really well, and the ingredients are all natural, so yes, Rocket and I do share this product. <laughs> what do you do if your dog does get a burned paw? These are some signs that can indicate if your dog is in some sort of distress. Chewing their paws, licking their paws, limping, whining, or reluctant to walk are all signs. Also, make sure that you're checking your dog's paws often. Now, if you do see any damage, such as blisters, redness, missing part of the pad, then you do want to call your vet because this can lead to an infection. If you have a puppy, be especially careful because they have not developed calluses yet and have very sensitive, soft, and adorable skin. So that's it! Let us know in the comments below if you have any tips, and we'll see you next time! Bye!